Over the course of paintball history, the Tigers are one of the most recognized organizations within the sport. They have excelled in all forms of paintball, whether that be on the soup airfield or in the woods. Tigers dominate in all instances. Now Causing Mayhem is a short piece on the Tigers' most recent season during the ECPL, or formerly known as the European Classic Paintball League. Organized and created by the legendary Nick Truder, the ECPL covers one of the most versatile forms of paintball and Nick brings it to a wide array of fields spread out across the UK. With that in mind, it's time to watch how the Tigers secured their top spot as series champs after facing solid competition throughout the 2023 season while playing on a very wide range of fields. In the heart of the 2023 European Classic Paintball League, the Mayhem Tigers roared into action, ready to leave their mark on the infamous Soup Air Field, known to all as the Zipper Field. The battlefield unfolded at Skirmish, a stage set for the Clash of Titans. The Mayhem Tigers, a team fueled by adrenaline and strategy, faced off against formidable opponents in a quest for supremacy. And so, the day begun on the Supi airfield, a labyrinth of inflatable bunkers where every move could be a game changer. The air was filled with the rapid staccato of paintball guns and the cheers of the crowd. Mayhem Tigers, like a well-oiled machine, navigated the field with precision. Between rounds, the Tigers recalibrated their strategy, refining their approach to face the unpredictable twists of the zipper field. As the rounds progressed, the Mayhem Tigers adapted, dominating the zipper field with a spectacular display of skill and coordination. Throughout the day, they were bringing the heat to all who stood in their way. Over the course of the first event, the Tigers were close to grasping the top position. Two of the most infamous teams had put a stop to that, so Mank, along with the Rushers, had succeeded in knocking them down to second place.
After a long day among the toughest of competitors, the Tigers stood proud with what they had achieved this round. No matter the challenge or field, they knew they could hold strong against anything thrown their way this season. Even though the Tigers didn't get the result they wanted, they knew what they needed to do in preparation for round two. With their trophy in hand, they didn't waste time on remembering the falls, rather instead focusing on the next event and what they can do to prepare. Homebush was calling. Mayhem Tigers were hungry for more. As the morning sun breaks through the canopy, teams assemble, each with their own game plan and tactics. As we enter the second round of the ECPL, we delve into the woodlands of Holmbush, the prestigious home of the UK Woodland Masters. Renowned for its dense woodland fields and challenging terrain, teams from across the UK converge on this iconic battleground to showcase their skills, determination. The atmosphere is charged with anticipation as players prepare to enter the fray. The first match kicks off with a thunderous roar of paintball guns. From aggressive frontal assaults to stealthy flanking maneuvers, every move is carefully calculated in the quest for domination when it comes down to the woodland scenario. But even though the competition was nonetheless the same from the previous round, the Tigers knew they had to contend with the Turks. A team who has conquered Homebush consistently over the years were going to become the toughest opponents of the day. The Tigers maneuver through the dense forest, utilizing cover and communication to outwit their opponents. Amidst the towering trees and thick underbrush, battles rage on. Teams maneuver through the unforgiving terrain, using cover and communication to outwit their opponents. As the day progresses, tensions rise and the competition heats up. The energy is palpable as players give their all in pursuit of victory. The sun begins to set on Holmbush. The final matches of the day take place amidst fading light and mounting anticipation. Tensions run high as the day progresses, with teams pushing themselves to the limit in pursuit of paintball supremacy. Every match is a test of skill, teamwork, and determination. As the sun sets on Holmbush, the winners of the second round of the ECPL are crowned, their triumphs immortalized in the annals of paintball history. From the dense woodlands of Holmbush to the adrenaline-fueled battlefield, the 2023 ECPL Paintball Championship at Holmbush was a showcase of passion, dedication, and teamwork in the world of competitive paintball. Securing another second-place finish, the Tigers knew they needed to step up for the third round as they were cut short from the top spot due to the infamous Turks. Tensions are high as the Tigers head to Wolverhampton for the third round of the ECPL. Round three is set at the well-known Warp Sports, where they have cultivated one of the original fields from previous seasons into a masterpiece with plenty of opportunities to maneuver. This wasn't going to be easy. The Tigers were sitting at the top for points, but so Mance and the Rushers were very close behind. For their time at Warped, they needed to secure another second place finish to keep a steady lead. But if they wanted to really get ahead of the competition, a first place finish is a must have for today. 
With ample conditions to play and a fresh field to be broken in, the boys of the Mayhem Tigers were eager and ready to take the field. With everything to gain but a lot to lose, they knew every other team would be giving it their all to withhold the Tigers from winning the day. Everyone was roaring to go. Throughout the morning, the Tigers were standing strong, winning their games, being up on bodies, and securing victories in their gunfights. For their afternoon games, they still had to go up against So Mance and the Rushers. Things were only just starting to heat up. Over the course of round three, Rushers, So Mance, and the Tigers were all playing to win. Once the Tigers defeated So Mance, they knew they needed to secure a victory over the infamous Rushers, who are well known for their aggressive nature and superb field coordination. This was going to be the toughest game of the day. Will this be a repeat of Skirmish, or will the Tigers defeat them? The fight for first place was on. After a very intense game, the rushers seized a crucial opportunity and pushed the Tigers back to secure their victory. Charlie North, as very versatile player on the rushers, pushed and took his chance to eliminate two Tigers, allowing the rest to follow. The day was well fought, and the Tigers finished with another consistent second place, just behind the Rushers. The Tigers were still in the top spot for the season, but their lead was getting slimmer and slimmer. With the season coming into its final round, the boys knew they had to defend their territory. The fourth and final round was at Mayhem in Essex. The home ground to the team 